up everyone this is elijah coming at you with another video from the app lifestyle.org the place where the world is literally in the palm of your hands and in this video i'm actually not going to be talking about the app stash <laughs> okay that's actually ironic but i'm going to be covering uh why i won't be covering the investment app stash so for those of y'all that don't know the uh, stash application is a uh, it's an app you can use to invest money in certain ETFs and certain stocks, and it will kind of advise you on which stocks are best for you based on your investment goals. Now, overall, the app is nothing is wrong with it. It's fine. Back back in the day, it was a fairly good app to get involved when to get involved in the process of investing. But uh, this time around. It just hasn't been upgraded. It's not really up to par with some of these more modern apps like uh, Robinhood, M1 Finance, Webull. I mean, th these are a few I'm just naming. But these are not only are these free, but they offer so many more options. Some of them offer retirement accounts. Some offer like a lot more stocks. Like it's almost the equivalent to some of these other like investment firms you know, like Fidelity. But Stash, they, they don't just don't have a huge selection and there actually is a small fee associated to it. I'll pop it up on the screen so you can see it. But you just compare that to what's available now. It's like, what is it? It's just so archaic. So I don't really feel the need to cover it. Yes, it is an app. Yes, it does make money. But let's be honest, guys. Who, who's exactly using it nowadays? Most people are on uh, Robinhood, M1 Finance, you on a Webull or using like the other brokerage firms so that's why I'm not going to be covering the stash app um, honestly that acorns app in my opinion is even uh, better than stash and um I might cover the acorns app even though I'm not the biggest fan of mutual funds but they do have some uh, cash back cash back properties that I really do enjoy so I still may cover that but as far as the stash app I, I don't feel a need to cover it so how do y'all feel about that? If y'all really, really, really just want me to cover it, like there's a huge demand, like y'all saying, Liza, please just cover it, then I'll do it. But I'm gonna assume y'all probably on the same mind as me, because I don't really see that many people even using it anymore or even talking about it recently. But just sharing that with y'all. So y'all see these investment review apps, y'all have the expectation of where's the stash app review and tutorial coming. As of right now, it's not based on those reasons unless y'all just really, really want it and y'all let me know. But I will catch y'all in the next video. Consider subscribing if you're new where we talk about apps to make you money both passively and actively. And like the video if you found value in it. Peace out.